Good evening, welcome to Primetime News. I am Anupama Suvarna. Right now, the headlines. Real estate bill approved, union cabinet seek uniformity. World Milk Day celebration, felicitation to Nandini dealers. Mangalore Soumya Kamath, Converse Institute of Space and Science and Technology, gold medal. Drunken revelry at Bisligat ended with one's murder. Bike and truck collision at Niraje, Kemare brothers severely injured. Tulu Chinese Nelson Liao Shenghua shines his multilingual prodigy of Bollywood. Sadi's father kept daughter in dark, Hemawati rescued by police. BSR Congress units dissolved, Sri Ramalu taken drastic move. Setting up a regulator for the real estate sector and having provisions like a jail term of up to three years for developers who make offences like putting up misleading advertisement about projects new bill repeatedly was approved by the government. The real estate regulation and development bill approved by the cabinet seek to provide a uniform regulatory environment to the sector. It also intends to make it mandatory for developers to launch projects only after acquiring all statutory clearances from relevant authorities. Builders and developers who become repeat offenders may even face a jail term of up to three years. The bill makes it mandatory for builders to clarify the carpet area of the flat. This would be made uniform for the entire country. This rule would make the concept of super area which is often used to mislead owners virtually non-existent. The bill has provisions under which all relevant clearances for real estate projects would have to be submitted to the regulator and also displayed on the website before starting the construction, sources said. The proposed legislation has tough provisions to deter builders from putting out misleading advertisements related to the projects carrying photographs of the actual site. Failure to do so for the first time would attract penalty which may be up to 10% of the project cost and repeat offence could land the developer in jail. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Poverty Alleviation is working on bringing all projects under a single window clearance. While the Airport Authority of India and municipal bodies have come on board, there are some objections from the Environment Ministry which are being looked into. Ministry sources said 22 states had given their approval to the bill, while 5 states wanted certain amendments. These changes have been incorporated in the bill, cleared by the cabinet today, sources said. Chhattisgarh is the sole state to still oppose the bill. The regulator will also be appellate authority in cases of dispute. World Milk Day 2013 and felicitation of Nandani Milk Dealers organized by Dakshina Kannada Cooperative Milk Producers Union Limited was held on the city dairy premises. Dr. O. R. Sridangappa, District Health and Family Welfare Officer Vasudev Rao, former director, Manglo International Airport and Baskar K. Moili, cooperator were the chief guest at the formal stage program that was organized after the inauguration. Raviraj Hegde, President, Dakshina Kannada Milk Union Limited, presided over the function. The Nandani product dealers, who had the highest rate of sales during 2012-13, were honoured with special gifts and certificates by the chief guest. In his presidential address, Raviraj Hegde said that earlier India ranked 16th in milk production, but now it is at first place in milk yielding. India has had success in the milk revolution by producing 127 millimetric tons of milk a year. India, which once used to import milk powder, has now shocked the developed nations by producing 17% of the total world's milk production. Hence, the true purpose of celebrating World Milk Day is fulfilled, he added. Karnataka Milk Federation has nearly 4,700 active members. More than rupees 200 crore has gone to the milk-yielding rural people from the people in the cities. KMF has been successful in supplying 3,30,000 litres of milk every year, said Hegde. <laughs> Kumara, a fair percent of the world, 
डॉक्टर बी वी सत्यनारायण कापू दिवाकर शेट्टी बी निरंजन के पी सुचरित शेट्टी एम राम भट्ट एंड एच मुकुंद नायक एंड अदर्स व प्रेजेंट ऑन द डेज Topper in Physical Science Soumya Khamat of Mangalore has awarded the gold medal by Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology. She received the honor from Dr. R. Chidambaram, the eminent nuclear scientist and metallurgist, principal scientific advisor to the Prime Minister of India and former president Dr. A. P. G. Abdul Kalam, who is also the Chancellor of Institute of Space Science and Technology during the convocation held at IIST campus at Thiruvananthapuram. Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology Thiruvananthapuram is Asia's first space university. It functions as an autonomous body under the Department of Space, Government of India. IIST has the unique mandate of encouraging and equipping brilliant youngsters from all parts of the country to take up a career as scientist, engineer in the Indian Space Research Organization. An alumnus of St. Agnes Institutions and Canberra PU College, Saumya Kamath is a daughter of Shanta and Surat Kalshrinivas Kamath of Kadri, Mangalore. At present, she is working as a scientist at Physical Research Laboratory, Ahmedabad. The National Research Institute for Space and Allied Sciences, founded by Dr. Vikram Sarabhai and the subsidiary of ISRO. Last year, her sister Dr. Shweta Kamath was conferred the gold medal for Best Junior Resident for 2012 by Dr Pranab Mukherjee President of India during the convocation ceremony of All India Institute of Medical Sciences held in New Delhi Now take a short commercial break Drunken rivalry at Bisli Ghat ended with one's murder Bike and truck collision at Miraje Kemare brothers severely injured Chinese Nelson Liao Shenghua shines as multilingual prodigy of Bollywood. Sadi's father kept daughter in dark came out to rescued by police. BSR Congress units dissolved Sri Ramalu taken drastic move. 